years old. I grabbed my backpack and got into the car. My father looked at me with those proud eyes and said, as Albert Einstein said, the only people who don't make mistakes are the ones who never do anything at all. I looked at him with my eyes almost closed and said, for real, this phrase again? <laughs> he laughed at me at that moment, but who would have known both Einstein and my dad were such wise men. Many people are afraid or even ashamed of their mistakes because they think they define us as human beings. But did you know not one single mistake nor accomplishment may define you entirely? How come, you may ask? Well, only you have the power to define who you are. And the answers are all found in the palm of our hands this representing the path of our lives. But why don't we use or even recognize this power? Sometimes we neglect ourselves the opportunity to use it. Sometimes we don't forgive ourselves for past mistakes. And some other times we're just afraid, which takes away the visible chance to learn from them. But don't worry, there are several steps we could all take to use this power to write the stories of our lives. Let's do something. Raise your hand if you have made a mistake. No matter if it was big or small, just raise your hand. I'll raise my hand because, well, I've made mistakes. If you raised your hand, good. If you didn't, then you probably have a different perspective on mistakes than I do. Making mistakes, overcoming change, and going through failure are all things we have to go through as human beings. And that's probably the first step we need to take acceptance. We're not perfect, and that's okay. Our imperfections are what makes us bond, interact, and connect with one another. Our imperfections are what makes this world such an interesting and intriguing place. Let me tell you a short story. I once was a small girl wishing to be perfect. My one and only dream was to accomplish something big, something significant. My mistake was the desire to do everything alone. But more than that desire was the thought that asking for help was for weak people. As I encountered change throughout my life, like transferring schools, I thought I could manage everything. I started doing many things at once in such a short amount of time. And that's when I met my dearest friend, Anxiety. I pushed her and pushed her away until she was the one taking my nights away. I could barely concentrate in class, and my friends worried about me. I started crying at small little details, and my nervous system was through the roof. I was scrambling down, until one day, my family noticed changes in me. Anxiety attacks, to be specific. They noticed how my hands would shake, or how my head would hurt, how my chest would feel heavy, or how tired I used to be. After many days of trying to push my pride down, I finally asked for help. I came to the people that cared about me the most, and instead of judging me and telling me I couldn't handle things for myself, they helped me seek a solution by organizing my life in a much more meaningful way. Now, I still struggle a little asking for help, but I give it my best to learn from this mistaken thought. Sometimes I ask myself, why didn't I ask for help before? Maybe it would have saved me many anxiety attacks. Maybe I would have gotten better quicker. But these thoughts are not going to change anything now, will they? So I change those thoughts with new ones filled with forgiveness. Now I tell myself, you're alive, you're better, and you're healthier. Now I help other people going through similar paths. Now I write poems for those who need people to relate with. It was as if the moment I learned and accepted my mistakes, a flower grew from the bottom of my heart. And as I go through life, flowers will keep blooming forever. 
And I know it may sound like all of these moments and mistakes were easy to overcome, but honestly, it really wasn't. It took a lot of time, effort, and help to go through this process. But one thing that helped me was to read about other people that went through similar situations. But not to compare myself to them, but to feel supported, to not feel alone. I have always wanted to be a writer. Writing has always been there to help me embrace my feelings. So when I encountered the story of J.K. Rowling, author of Harry Potter, it stayed on my mind since the first moment I read it. J.K. Rowling suffered from depression when her mother died. Her marriage failed, and she was left alone to take care and work for her young child. Yet this was not what impacted me the most. What left me reflecting was the fact that she credits her success to her failure. At a Harvard commencement speech, she said, failure was a stripping away of the inessential. I stopped pretending to myself to be anything other than I was. If I had succeeded at anything else, I would have never found the determination to succeed in the one area I truly belonged. After I read this, I analyzed. We don't set up for mistakes, but as they come along the way due to the unexpected, they are given to us as an opportunity for our own growth. Mistakes are the call we need to ask ourselves why. They give us the opportunity to reflect and analyze. They even sometimes force us out of our comfort zone to take a step into the unknown. One thing I found extremely important during this process is time. I like to say time is the one thing human beings need the most, and the one thing we honestly don't use like we should. Time is not only the moment where you're at right now. Time is your past and your future too. Time is the friend that will give you a hand when you need to make a mistake again in order to learn. But time is also the friend that will help you heal the wounds and accept the scars that are left. Picture in your head scars. I like to call failure our scars. Some scars are found in places only we are able to see, like the ones I carry in my heart. And some others are found out in the open, like the ones I carry in my leg due to an accident. But these scars are not a reminder of something horrible. They are a reminder of a path you went through. Failure and mistakes are not your enemies. They are the power you need to grow. Thank you.